Is it okay to masturbate every day? Do I lose fertility by doing so? Okay, good question. Today, we're back at it again, answering medical questions that you're afraid of or maybe a little too embarrassed to ask your doctor. I figure if one person is wanting the answer to a particular question, chances are maybe multiple people are wondering the exact same thing. You guys are always flooding my comments asking me some really awesome questions and I can't wait to answer them. But fair warning to all of you, sometimes these questions can get a little bit strange and interesting. But today we're not holding back at all and tackling them. But before we get into it, I'm Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an emergency room doctor who treats everything from COVID to gunshot wounds, burns, you name it. I've created this video series to help answer some of your medical questions and the questions that I get from patients each and every day. If you find this video helpful, please do me a favor and subscribe. All right, let's dive right in. Okay, I've got a question. Why is poop green sometimes? I've looked into it a little bit, but everything that I've seen just says it happens if you eat a lot of green foods or food coloring. But sometimes when I don't do that, it's still green. What else can cause this? Green leafy vegetables, Food coloring that's in food can do this. Sometimes different medications, iron supplements can do it. Antibiotics could do it because of changing the bacterial environment within the gut. Also relating to bile. So sometimes people have yellow bile versus green bile. So what happens is say you have uh, a lot of greasy fatty foods that you're secreting more bile to help bind to the fat. If you're having diarrhea, what ends up happening is it doesn't, have, it doesn't have enough time to change color to the brown. And so when it gets excreted out, it changes into like a greenish color. Hey, Dr. Wagner, is there a way to get taller faster? No. What you got is what you got. If you are growing, that means your growth plates are open and they're growing at the normal rate at which your body is going to grow. Your height is what you got. It's genetic outside of like weird, not conventional surgical procedures. I'm not proud of this question, but I remember having an argument in middle school about whether or not a woman biologically could get pregnant by an animal. Though the answer may be obvious, is it possible? No, not really. One, to begin with, there's a massive ethical issue with this question. We're like trying to crossbreed to make these hybrid animal people things. Not really appropriate. But say that there's a weird act that occurs. No, typically they haven't actually had this occur. Lab study wise, they have been able to figure out how to like cross like a human and a chimpanzee. They're able to mix the genetic material to have a successful kind of like building block blocks of life, but they don't take it further to actually create it because of ethical problems. The issue is from a scientific level, are they able to grow organs of humans and animals, that sort of thing. But when it comes to like mating and like sperm from one animal to egg of a human being, no, that doesn't make a hybrid horse human or dog human or mouse human, those sorts of things. Are testicular cysts dangerous for you? Should they be removed or are they safe to keep? This has been a question I've asked my doctor and never got an answer. So there are different types of cysts. So cysts are fluid collections. So within the scrotum where your testicles are hanging out, you can get a spermatocele, which is a cyst on the epididymis. You can get a hydrocele, which is basically like a cyst or fluid around the testy. You can also get like a hematocele and you can get varicocele. There's a lot of seals. What ends up happening is usually these are benign. You let them be, you take some anti-inflammatory pain medications and they will pretty much resolve on their own. If they don't, that's when you typically should go to a urologist who is a specialist in the urogenital system and who's a surgeon. Can you tear a hole in your intestines or stomach if you eat and go to the bathroom at the same time? Is it harmful? Who is eating in the restroom? There's fecal matter all over the place that you don't realize. But the question is, will you tear your intestines or your stomach? No. All right, so if you are sitting there taking a poop, and you need to eat that sandwich just because you don't got time or that's just what you do and you need to try to fill up your stomach more so you can have more poop go into the bowl, don't do that. I would advise not doing it because of sanitary issues, but from a danger issue, no, it's not harmful. Minus the fact that I just don't want anybody eating E. coli that's coming out of their body and continuing the cycle. Can you adjust your bowel movement schedule, i.e. from morning to evening and how? So yes, you can, it's just habit. Maybe too much information, I get up, I have my coffee, everything starts flowing 
slow and I go in the morning. If I do a morning shift too early, I don't have time to, you know, allow things to do their normal function, that doesn't happen. So you can adjust your schedule, but at the beginning, you literally just have to go and pick your time that you wanna go and work on sitting there and trying to get your body to relax. Okay, why does your urine turns white does mean drinking water. The issue is why does my urine turn white and does it mean it's because I'm drinking a lot of water, maybe? Your urine shouldn't turn white. In my brain, white equals pus and pus equals infection usually related to an STD, typically gonorrhea, chlamydia, that needs to be addressed right away. Maybe you're trying to describe that it's clear. So having clear urine is really good. It means you're very well hydrated. It should be clear. You need to be drinking at least 64 ounces to a gallon of water a day, staying hydrated. I know some people are like, oh my gosh, I can't go to the bathroom that much. I'll be peeing all day. Adjusting how much you're drinking, your body will adjust to, okay? So you won't be peeing 20 times a day. It'll, it'll readjust and recalibrate. Summary, white urine, bad, see a doctor. My dad sneezes like 12 plus normally. Most ever counted was 18. How is that possible? Sneezing has to do with irritation. Irritation relating to the trigeminal nerve, cranial nerve number five. So it's kind of like a reflex, but yeah, you can sneeze that often. You're trying to get something out or it's irritating, but no, typically not gonna hurt yourself if you're sneezing that often, right? Sometimes people say, bless you after you sneeze because your heart stopped. Eh, maybe, sometimes you can skip. The other issue is people try to stifle sneezes, which be careful stifling sneeze, you can blow out your eardrums, but you worry about barotrauma, so trauma to your ears, messing up your sinuses. And I've said before, when people get fractures to the face, you don't want to stifle a sneeze because you can blow air into your soft tissue of your face, which really hurts. I have a question on my mind. Is it ever safe to drink shower water? Also, do more medical question videos. Shower water, hmm. You get water in your mouth every now and then in the shower, it's fine, typically. It depends on your area. It could be treated with like chlorine or types of bleach. Consuming in large quantities probably is not good for you. You also have to think about like bacteria, the water sitting, sitting in the pipe, sitting in the water tanks, because it's hot water as well. It's a different system because most people don't take cold showers. So you just don't know. You don't know the pipes that you have. You don't know the potential that if there could be bacteria um, coming from the water source to your house. Just be safe. Don't be drinking gallons of water from a shower. Is it okay to masturbate every day? Do I lose fertility by doing so? Okay, good question. There's no like number when it comes to masturbation, okay? Some people go weeks, months, some do it every day, multiple times a day. It only really becomes an issue when it actually interferes with like your normal day-to-day -day routine. From a physiological standpoint, you're not gonna hurt your fertility, you're not gonna potentially increase your risk of prostate cancer or any other types of cancer. As long as it's not hurting yourself, hurting anybody else, or interfering with your life, have at it. All right, that's been some thought-provoking questions or maybe questions you didn't want to ask with me, Dr. Wagner. Let me know in the comments if you have any other medical questions or topics that you'd like me to answer. Maybe I'll include them in the next video. Please make sure you subscribe and turn your bell notifications on. When you do that and you hit that like button, you let YouTube know that you'd like to see more videos like this one. Also, if you like the embarrassing medical questions video, check out another video right here. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.